Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Have you ever wondered why the pros, like Roger Federer, always switch rackets all the time during their match, even though the strings aren't broken? Well, I'm going to tell you. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm sure everybody's seen, especially Roger, because he's on used to be on TV all the time, and many other pros doing this. So when they come out, they warm up with a racket, right? They take it out of the plastic, right? By the way, the plastic is to help a uh, little bit of moisture control because you know he uses natural gut in the mains. So it helps, especially when he's in a humid climate, um, to help the gut not absorb the humidity. So that's why they put it in the bag. So you've seen Roger do this. You take, take the band off, right? By the way, I got these cool tennis spin bands now if anybody's out there. TennisspinUSA.com. All right. And then you've seen Roger basically do this and then go like this and done, right? I racket is ready. Okay. And then I go out and I play with the fresh stick. Now, have you ever thought though how tight that is? Why he did that? Is it numbered? Well, I'm sure it is, okay? So let's say they do the toss. He wins the toss and he elects to serve, right? So he will take, if he elects to serve, he will take a particular racket with a particular tension, all right? so. Check it out. I know that he's done like 51, 49 before on something. Okay, so the gut's 51, the ALU rough is 49, okay? So that is one tension in his bag. Let's do the, the second one now. Take the little rubber band off, hand it off to, and then rip it out, right? So he's got a fleet of these in his bag. Let's say 12, okay? This one is going to be 53, 51. Okay. So this one's two pounds tighter, okay? Now... I toss, Roger wins serve. I, Roger, decide to serve. I'm looking at my fleet of rackets. I'm taking the 51. Why am I taking the 51 though? Because it's two pounds looser and I want a little more, <clears throat> excuse me, I want a little more jump and I want a little bit more power since the ball is in my hand and I get to control it a little more. So I can control the power, I can increase the power, I can increase the spin just by those two pounds because I'm Roger, right? But if I were to lose the toss and let's say my opponent elects to serve, right? I'm actually gonna take the tighter racket the 5351. Why is that? Because I'm not in control of the serve. Now I'm going to have to return a heavy serve, a harder serve. So the tighter strings will allow me to try to keep the ball in a little bit. It is as low as two pounds that makes a difference for like a person like Roger. Um, 
w whether the ball's in or out. Um, I'm sure he could play with any tension um, at any time in any place, but I think psychologically, or he's super, super tuned in. I'm, I'm sure he's super, super tuned into his racket setup with the strings um, and the weight and the feel. Therefore, he feels more confident with the two pounds, tighter when he receives, okay? Another time that pros like to go back to the tighter racket, the 53, is when they call for ball change because you know, you've whacked out the six games with those balls already. And when they go fresh balls, what happens to the balls? They get faster again. So you got to go tighter again to keep the ball in, right? Because the balls are jumping at you. You want to keep, try to keep the ball in as long as possible with the tighter setup. And the tighter setup will help you with that. Now, if Roger is, I don't know, maybe not on top of his game, maybe needs a little power, well, he can always go back to the slightly looser one or a slightly used one in his bag. But I doubt that somebody as tuned as he is um, would do that. But I'm sure it does and may happen. Okay? So if you guys got, you know, maybe an arsenal of rackets and can mess with this, um, try it out. I mean, you could do it with four rackets, maybe even three. You can actually probably try doing it with two. It'll be a fun exercise to see if you can feel the difference and if you, the tighter strings will work better, um, let's say if you switch balls for fun uh, to see if it'll help you keep the balls in a little bit more. Um, but we're talking two pounds here. Maybe for the normal person, uh, three to five pounds will be a little bit more noticeable. Um, but hey, Roger's Roger, and we're just mere mortals. All right, so have fun with it. Uh, this is why. You know, he's great and uh, he can feel probably the slight differences in his string tension. All right, so thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Huh, excuse me, get my rocket strong. What am I gonna do now? Have you thought of racket aid? Have you thought of racket aid? No, I haven't. They can save you. Oh, really?